In this video I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks and uh, running multiple browsers within your screen just to um, show you how you can lay things out in, in larger format screen. I'm running here a uh, all-in-one PC, a Pavilion 23 inch, so I've got lots of real estate we can utilize. And one thing to note, obviously HTML5, that you can go to your browser in the right sense and you can scale it to fit as much as you can onto it, which is something if you had an app you can't really do as far as scaling is concerned since right now I'm on 100 percent so a couple of little tricks for example uh as you know on your fader here well i've got another microphone connected here that's pretty cool where is it so i do <laughs> okay so for example on the fader here if you double click the fader cap it takes you to your eq directly and then you can do any adjustment you want and then to get back out to the channel you just double click the area the empty area around the EQ so double click the fader cap double click the empty area around the EQ if you double click under the fader it takes you to your meters page one cool thing about the meters page is that any place you click on will take you there so if I wanted to go to Augs matrix one I can just click on Augs matrix one and it'll take me there directly and select that channel it makes for very very quick selection to fly around the place so again meters page I'll click on channel 9 and it takes me to channel 9 and selects it for me as well it's a very quick to, way to navigate um, double clicking on the tab underneath the uh, fader lane takes me to the compressor page where you can do your adjustments and then double clicking in the empty area takes you right out panning if you want to center double click if you want to enter 0 dB double click and all those uh, little utilities really help you. In the manual you will find also a complete list of uh, fast access keys on your keyboard where you can really fly between many channels just by uh, uh, many screens just by hitting different keyboard commands on your um, on your control uh, whether it's connected directly to the UI or to your PC or Mac for example uh, you can do things like renaming by hitting the F2 button and very quickly going between the channels with the arrows or going banks with the arrow up and down again all, all this is in the manual so you can go through it now if I wanted to for example create a little browser another browser I'm just going to copy the address here and I'm going to open up another browser and I'm going to do control V and I'm going to bring up another version of the mixer here okay and we're going to sync these two together so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit smaller here I've got lots of videos as you can see here let's minimize these and I'm gonna bring this around here here's all the YouTube videos you've been watching and another version of the software here as well good okay uh, I'll make that a little bit smaller okay and depending on the type of browser you have it might let you do one or two or three things at the same time and I'm going to bring that up to a corner here okay and I'm going to put this on an EQ edit page for example and then I'm going to take this browser here and bring it to the side I'm going to take this browser here and bring it down and across okay so I've got these browsers all open up on the screen all at the same time okay and this browser for example will edit up as well and we'll make that into a compressor for example okay so I'll go to the edit page and put that as a compressor so to synchronize all these for example I'm using uh, my fingers now so I can do multiple channels at the same time as you can see I'm moving four I can move six because uh, I'm actually properly mixing the channels. so to synchronize these for example so they all follow as you can see it all the channels are following so if I'm on channel seven and I change the EQ on channel seven here and then I click on channel eight and all these bars here can be closed you can remove them from your browser if you wanted to um, there are different ways of doing that for the kiosk modes so they're all following me because in my browser setting here I have sync ID selected on 
and the name sync ID can be changed. You can have some following one type, some following another. So just make sure sync ID is switched on and it uses the same domain. And that means everything will follow. So your EQ will follow, your compressor will follow. As you touch a channel on your screen, all the other screens follow you at the same time. And that's how you create larger mixes. Now, you can do this across multiple devices. The, uh, one side, this side can be an, another small iPad, for example. Um, and this side can be uh, another type of browser on another machine or dual screens. Basically, you can open several browsers and synchronize them all together in a larger environment. Uh, and that way you'll find that you can see all the information much, much easier on, on the screen. So I think in this situation, we can even make that a bit smaller and we can put those up a bit more. You can experiment with this as much as you like and find the configuration that really works well in your situation. I hope you enjoy it. Take care.